a pleasant day to each and everyone. A pleasant day to you too, Mr. Rogan. I am Chandra Jobert I. De La Cruz from Grade 11 STEM Knowledge. Our topic for today's activity is called the Differentiation Rules. In our topic, we discuss five rules so far. The first rule is called the constant rule. The second rule is called the power rule. The third is the constant multiple rule. The fourth is the derivative of a sum or a difference. The fifth or the last rule that we discuss is called the product rule. Mr. Rogan assigned me to answer items number 9, 10, and 11. For item number 9, f of x is equals to 1 over x cubed. Since our f of x is in a fraction form, we will transform it. So f prime of x is equals to x raised to negative 3. Applying the power rule, where if f of x is equals to x raised to n, then our f prime of x is equals to n x raised to n minus 1. We will copy negative 3 right before our x, so it will be negative 3x, and we will subtract our exponent to 1. So it will be negative 3x raised to negative 3 minus 1. We will just copy down negative 3x, and negative 3 minus 1 is equals to negative 4. Therefore, our f prime of x is equals to negative 3x raised to negative 4, or negative 3 over x raised to 4 in its fraction form. For item number 10, y is equals to negative 4 over x raised to 20. Since our y is also in a fraction form, we will again transform it. So it will be y prime is equals to negative 4x raised to negative 20. Applying the power rule, we will put negative 20 right beside our negative 4x. And we will subtract our exponent to 1. So it will be negative 20 times negative 4x raised to negative 20 minus 1. Negative 20 times negative 4x is equals to 80x. And negative 20 minus 1 is equals to negative 21. Therefore, our y prime is equals to 80x raised to negative 21 or 80 over x raised to 21. Moving on, item number 11. y is equals to 10 minus x plus 12 over x raised to 5. We will copy 10 minus x and since this part is in a fraction form, we will again transform it. So our y is equals to 10 minus x plus 12x raised to negative 5. Applying the constant rule where f of x is equals to c, where c is a constant, then our f prime of x is equals to 0. Since 10 is a constant, it will be 0. And for our negative x, we will apply the power rule. x raised to negative 1, raised to 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. So any value that is raised to 0 is equals to 1. So it will be 1. And we will just copy 12x raised to negative 5. So our y prime will be 0 minus 1 plus 12x raised to 5. We will just copy negative 1. And we will apply the power rule here. We will copy negative 5 and put it right beside our positive 12x. And we will minus or subtract our exponent to 1. We will copy again the negative 1. Negative 5 times 12x is equals to 60, negative 60x. And negative 5 minus 1 is equals to negative 6. Therefore, our y prime is equal to negative 1 minus 60x raised to 6 or negative 1 minus 60 over x raised to 6. And that's the end of my presentation. I hope you learned something. Thank you.